Sometimes, hawks will attack the nest and threaten the young eaglet's life. At first, the mother stays close to her baby, raising her crest of long, slender feathers in anger and defiance. after it for aerial combat. The mother, more than twice the size of the hawk, is not as agile, so the intruder escapes her advances. All the while, Junior encourages his mother from the nest with his cry, as if to say, go get him, Mom. Eventually, the hawk gives up, and the victorious mother, proud of her accomplishment, returns to her nest and finds her young ones unharmed. In the mountains, a cold rain could be just as dangerous to the young eaglet. Left by himself, he could die from exposure. Fortunately, as soon as it rains, the mother immediately returns to cover her baby keeping him warm and dry. While the mother's duty is caring for her young one, the father's is to provide food for the family. A bat is one of more than 15 kinds of wild animals the eagles prey upon. With eyes eight times more powerful than ours, an eagle can see even tiny prey several hundred meters away. Though he is a great hunter, he does not capture pigs or chickens, nor has he ever been known to harm people. Flying toward the prey with outstretched wings spread seven feet, the eagle may attain speeds between 70 to 80 kilometers per hour. Afterward, the father carries the food, sometimes over a considerable distance, to the nest where hungry Junior waits to be fed. When he arrives, the mother is not there, having taken a short break, so he waits. For it is her responsibility to feed Junior until he is six weeks old. The father remains in the nest area just long enough to entrust the food to mother and to take a quick look at his rapidly growing son, but leaves immediately to return in a day or two with more food. Meanwhile, feeding begins, and the mother tears off tiny pieces of meat and gently offers them to her baby. 
More than a month has passed since we last saw Junior. He now resembles his parents, but still depends on them for his meals. The mother arrives with a snake, a deadly Philippine cobra, another food item of the species. Junior forgets his manners and aggressively takes his mother's food. Realizing she need not feed him anymore, the mother leaves Junior to himself, cleaning her bill before she goes. Alone again, Junior practices killing the already dead snake and the branches in the nest. 